Today is the long-awaited video of putting the cab back on the tractor. The, we have an ACO Challenger that the guys replaced the transmission on and I'll post the videos up here in cards so you can find them if you haven't seen them and you're just now viewing this one. The tractor has been out of commission for about I think a month and a half now. It's been a long ordeal, a lot of waiting. Um, but the guys got the transmission put back together, the cab on, and everything hooked back up, which actually was more of a process than taking the cab off because they had to line everything back up and that took quite a bit of work. You'll probably see a little bit of that in this video, how they had to kind of jiggle it back and forth to get it lined up just so. Um, we had to wait for the dealership to come out to, um, pump brand new oil in it with a certain pump that they have. We don't have that. They also had to calibrate it so the transmission and the tractor talk to each other pretty much. All the hoses are connected to where they gotta go. There's the two hoses here. Then we'll work on that next. That's, that's where the... So all of these have a hose. They have another Connected. Pump. From in here? Yep. Uh, there's two blue hoses and a black hose, and if you look on the manual there, it kind of kind of tells you what they're for. And then you have all these other hoses, and one's a uh, yeah, you got two are range shift. Another one is your uh, your uh, PTO. Another one's a regularity valve. Another one's a ground speed limiting. So there's different. So Yep. All right. So this is called the high pressure tranny filter and just put some new o-rings on, just put a new filter in here. So we're good to go. Lots of little O-rings and new uh, seals need to be put in every little thing. So that's what everybody's working on right now. It's like the hairs on your nose. Huh? That's a suction belt. So it's like the hairs in your nose. Oh, is that what it does? Yeah. That's your suction belt. They go through the pump and then they start to use it. Two snap rings are good. These three nuts are good. This is tight. That's through the hole. Those we haven't touched. <laughs> the rods across are tight. <clears throat> These are all inserted. Box inserted. This is good. All the three of those hoses. Yep. You're ready for the cover, I guess. What? Anything else, Ethan? Think, think through. I think we got everything in there. Dirt. Yeah, lots of it. Well, I just hope we got everything. What? Can go. Uh, what way did it go? Sydney, you're to the back. You're. Oh, that was my knee. Wee wee. There's a couple studs here. It's going up. All right, you're grabbing the hooks. Okay, I gotta get a stud on the front. <sighs> Fingers out. There you go. And this is the actual motor that controls the speed of your tranny. So yeah, this there's a motor in here, and when you push the joystick up in the cab. It turns the shaft that goes across the front, and it turns that, and that turns your pumps in there to go faster or slower. On this particular. On this model. Yeah. All right, ready? It's out. It's gotta go forward. How far forward? Well, 
See it right here in the stud. Where did it fall? There. 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 Okay, we gotta go forward, yeah. Cause I gotta line up with two holes back here. There's a the spider. Do too. You don't All like right. spiders. No, I didn't want to pinch my fingers. All right, gotta go ahead about an inch. The spider. <laughs> Pick up the front. Ah, crap! I am. My hand's cramping up. I'm going down. Oh, How far you gotta go? I don't know. I can't see. <laughs> I can't get in there. There it is. All right. Good? Yep. Okay. So we're getting ready to put the plate on that holds the fuel tanks. Ready?
the Challenger is all back together and in running order. It's been out of commission. It's been out of commission for over a month and a half. Yeah, yeah. but uh, we've taken it for a test ride. Now we're actually putting it to work, hauling manure. Does it run like it should? Yeah. Back to original condition. Ris original condition. So how fast can it run? Um, and, or, yeah, it goes 34. 34 miles an hour. Uh, 1800 RPM, so that's full speed. So. Full, full road speed. Yeah. yeah. And before the before we did the transmission repair, how fast were you able to go? 26. 26 was max? Slow. Slow. So now it is uh, all fixed speed, isn't it? So they put the tranny in and then. Uh, Put the cab back on, got everything hooked back up, and the dealer had to come out and calibrate it. And that went fine. Yep. And uh, we didn't have any oil leaks or nothing was, everything was hooked up properly. So that's good. Sandra's is somewhere here. He's uh, disking. 